Hey everyone, testing some more fans. Got a few uh, fans that I brought back from the last Fanimation group trip that these were actually trades from, for Dan Spiffy Newman, my friend, who I also do fan work with. And uh, I basically uh, did his acquisition trades for him. So uh, and I figured I'd give some of these a uh, shot and uh, try them out and see how they run. And this first one I have here is this uh, Thomas Industries fan, which is basically, this one essentially looks a lot like, it pra practically is, a Fasco Parlor fan. It's got the same vents as one, and it's got the variable speed. Uh, it's got the variable speed, and the way the variable speed on this one works is the pull chain has got straight high, and then what's called variable medium, so you can go up to like a medium high or just a hair shy of high and uh, down to a low, down to a very low speed. So that's a uh, variable medium and off. So I got it set to low. And it's got a pretty slow low though. And what's it drawing? I'm going to have to let it get up to speed, but uh, it's drawing 0.36 amps. Now let's see what it... And it's drawing 12 watts on this uh, all the way down to low speed. And, and a power factor of just a hair over a quarter. So pretty much 0.3 basically a um, quarter power factor. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn it up little by little to demonstrate the variable speed. since I got the meter in view. It's kind of noisy and buzzy with this kind of speed control because it is a solid state. All right. Yeah, it's definitely not living room quiet. A little too noisy for uh, yeah definitely not even living room quiet could use it here but chances are since this has got a straight high setting with the pull chain I can set it to that and use a wall control Okay, I turned it all the way up. This is the high speed of the variable. Let's see what it's drawing there. There it's drawing almost an amp. Oh, we'll call that one amp. Even though it's, how many watts? 112, ah. Okay, so 90 watts, call it 90 watts. 87 watts, okay, close to 90. Okay, and the power factor on there is, well, just over three quarters. Not quite a power factor of one. All right, I'm going to bring it to straight high now. So it's now on the variable medium. Off straight high, bypassing the variable speed. What's it drawing there? It is drawing just a nose hair over an amp. Well, basically it is an amp. Let's do, so there it's 95 watts, so a little bit more. And let's see if, okay, not quite much higher power factor. Almost the same. All right. Well, time for spin down. All 
All right, I'm gonna let it, since the reverse switch is on the bottom of the motor housing, I'm just gonna let it spin down before I go up there to set it back to low and, uh, and reverse it. Okay, well, since uh, it stopped already, all right, I'm gonna go there. All right, let's uh, reverse. Let me just, there it goes. I mean, these got a pretty slow low, like a lot of fast goes do. Okay, <laughs> in reverse, it's pretty much the same, same current draw, just a tenth uh, lower. It was like 0.36, but I'll just call that the same. Pretty much is the same, and I'm going to do the same thing, just uh, slowly go up. Okay, see what the current draw is with uh, with it all the way up, same, same, slightly more waddle to it, not much, and here's straight high, that should pretty much be the same, yep, okay, I'm going to put it back to forward air. And we're going to do the, now it's time to do the decade box. And if I were to put this in this room as an install, see what wall control, I prefer four speed. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Wonder if it's got stiff bearings. Okay. And I have a feeling I might need an 8, 12, 20. Well, so I'm just gonna go right to eight. And just a hair over what it does on the variable low. So that's eight. And that's a decent low right there. That's a perfect low. That's eight microfarads. Right there, beautiful, I like that. If I were to just do a straight high on it and use a wall control, this would work for low. Here's nine. 10. Here's, I'm just gonna go right to 12 on this one. Since I will not use a 4711 on here, I'm gonna go right to 12. This would be low medium, and that is perfect right there. That is just a perfect low medium. 0.62. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18, 19, and 20. Um, well, I'm already close to high with that. Hmm, 
I don't know. Because I could use an 812.20, but this kind of a useless speed. So I'm going to hit the high switch. And there's really no difference. That's the only thing I thought an 812.20 would be great for this. But uh, only thing is, it's just uh, does the uh, 20 microfarads with the uh, high medium is just too close to high. So one thing I would do I mean one thing I would do then is uh I'd have to either do a 3 speed and customize the values or I might I don't know that I'd want to, it'd be pointless to do a variable speed cuz I already know what it does with the variable speed I already know what it does variable speed wise with the one that it has yeah just uh, for grins I'm just testing it out yeah A little bit quieter. Slightly quieter, but not much. So, yeah, I like this fan though. It looks so cool. I really like it, but uh, I just don't know. It's <laughs> not always sure what wall control. Or maybe, maybe I, well, I do have one that might work. So, but I'm going to do zero to high. Yeah, really barely an inrush. Pull out. All right, well, I'm going to pull out something real quick here. Where's that cord? That cord. Let's see if I can maybe get the cord out. Well, I have a I have a control that I'm gonna try. Now I put that down. What I'm gonna do? I have this uh, Fasco control here, and what I'm gonna do is uh, wire this up real quick, and. Uh, See what this how it reacts on this control because I do have a transformer based control here that it might work well on but we'll have to see how it reacts we'll see how it behaves see if this is a good wall control to use all right I'm going to take out the decade box out of the equation 
All right, and I'm gonna go right to low. Ooh, it stalls out. Low, medium. Wonder if it's just got stiff bearings. All right. Yeah, low is just. Here's medium high. High. Off. Okay. See, low is, yeah, it's a little low of a current draw there. Yeah, it's stalled out. And uh, that's just, that's barely even. That was just enough for a low speed at 30, at 0.39 on medium low with this control. And then medium high is only like half an amp. So, yeah, that's. Wouldn't exactly have good wall controls for this fan here. That's just to conclude. All right. Well, that is actually all I have for this uh, Thomas Industries uh, variable speed fan that looks like a Fasco Parlor fan, but I have some more fans, so uh, stay tuned. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you want, and uh, thanks for watching.